Hey, what's going on, going on, y'all? My name is Tom Mizzle. You watching my channel, Mizzle Fourteen, and I'm here doing a review of Basketball Wives, Season Seven, Episode Eight. I'm just gonna get jumps right into this video. I mean, it's not too much that's going on this episode, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of scenes was like redundant. I mean, this is the aftermath of what happened of last week's episode between the blow up between Tammy and Evelyn, and people is taking sides, him in the situation, they re told the story to different times over and over to different people, people who wasn't there, was brought up to speed, people who was there, talk about their feelings, so basically this whole episode was about how they feel about this whole blow up, and leads into this event that Evelyn is doing, and leads into the last scene that Jackie and Tammy, and that was the most important scene I wanted to see and talk about anyway. But I'm just going to breeze through this rest of the scenes. It started off when it ended last week between the blow up between Tammy and Evelyn. They was going back and forth. Tammy and Evelyn would talk about her weight. We'll talk about everything else. Talk about how skinny she is. Like a crackhead. Tammy said she brought up the domestic violence situation saying that you lied on Chad. And that took Evelyn back. She said, what? I lied? Like, what's going on? I would never lie about something like that. And Evelyn was like, how the hell is she going to try and re-victimize a victim of this submission situation? And I would never lie on something like that. I was like, I never put my hands on this guy. He did that to me. And it's it been it's like it changed my life. And I'll never forget this. Now, they went off at this um, place. It was talking in the street. Tammy said she's not apologizing. She said what she said. She's not apologizing to somebody that she don't consider as her friend. The only person she needs to apologize for was Shawnee. So she said she's going to do apologize only to Shawnee and that's it. She don't care about anybody else. She went off her way. Evelyn is pissed because everybody's seen how Evelyn is. And, you know, she's upset. She's pissed off. She's about to flame. She's angry. And it seems like Evelyn does her dirt. But when it comes back to us, she just want to... Everybody, she needs everybody to fall for her, to uh, feel care for her, to sorry for her. And I'm great at it. The mess of violence is not to um, joke about. Like I said, I experienced firsthand domestic violence, not towards me directly, but indirectly, indirectly seeing it myself. Directly seeing myself happening to the person I love the most and not be able to do it about it because I was a child, I was young. Until I got older to speak my voice and become very protective. But at the same time, I couldn't do anything about it. But it still affected me um, to the way that I see that I don't like to see that happening to her. To my love. And to find out to have that happen. And you were so young and you can't do anything. It does something to you as a child. It makes you feel like you need to be stronger. You need to want to work harder. You need to be, be overprotective. It shows you that how you not to treat a woman, how you not to treat somebody who you're supposed to be in a relationship with. So it's it's tough. So I know how it is. So it's not to take it lightly. It's not to shame anybody for that. It's not to re-victimize the victim of the situation and everything. And I'm saying and there's all people out there, spoiled apples out there, who will make a situation bad for other people who actually experience this by lying just to get um, get their way. But that's only a few. It's a majority of people who have been domestic violent, who have been abused. Whether it's either physically, whether it's either mentally, whether it's either emotionally, everything. That's all types of uh, violence. It don't have to be on just hands. It could be verbal attack. It could be mental attack. It could be emotional attack. Anything that will speak and hindering and diminishes the power of a person because you need to feel yourself better. Well, it's domestic violence. And... That's something you cannot take lightly. And that's something I always will feel strongly about. Anybody who want to put their hands, who want to talk bad, who want to put down, who want to verbalize or verbally abuse somebody, emotion abuse them. And it's like, what's the point in doing that? If you have to do all that, why just not leave the relationship? Why you hold on and um, exert your power over this person because you feel that you need to have control? And I never... Um, care for people like that and I will never really I probably will forgive the person 
but I will probably never actually have them in my life or actually feel, feel like vindicated that I need to reach out to them. And so that comment that Evelyn said that on the radio station that she would chose Chad to set, um, save her and everything, I don't care because I don't care if they make it or not. Somebody told me my comment. I made a comment in somebody's post and somebody said it doesn't matter because her and Chad made up. So it was okay for her to say that. I was saying no, it's not okay. To me personally, it would not be okay no matter if we made up or I forgave that person. I would never reach out and call that person for any need of help because I know they uh, hurt physically hurt me that caused me to change, and that would never go away. And that would ever said that that situation never escaped her. She always go think about this, even though she may move on from it, but she always it always haunts her. So for her, uh, for somebody, somebody, oh, they made up, whatever, if they did or not, they made up. She probably forgave him, but I don't think she really actually made up, made up too much into the, to the extent that she felt comfortable that to call upon him, but she did. So she, she said, I don't believe that, I saw eye that, but at the same time, I don't not ever really struggle because at the end of the day, it's only Evelyn and Chad who knows the real situation and what happened between those two in that event um, that led to the whole world, people knowing, and the articles and the news and the struggles. I mean, they showed the picture of Evelyn um, being damaged by what he done. So that's something that you can't lie about. At the end of the day, people feel that like it was a low blow for Tammy to bring this up. Maybe it was a low blow for Tammy in bringing this up because it was a detrimental part of um, Evelyn's life. And and also, Evelyn is kind of um, also taken aback because Tammy is also a domestic violence um, survivor herself. For her to say that to Evelyn when she know that she's been through the same situation and as a mother who has daughters and everything, for her to bring this up to make light of it and say I'm lying that's like a really told out of cabs a low blow even for somebody I don't really care for I mean we don't have to talk we not good at it um, for each other and we not friends but to even bring it up to a person who's your enemy doesn't matter if um, the person you like or not that's something you can't take light of just like you can't like say rape to somebody you take light of Cause rape is not a, a rape is a serious issue too. So for you to say, oh, I wish somebody rape you, that's not something that's, that's not so, something to joke about. Just like I wish somebody hit you, abuse and knock you out of your head, that's not something to joke about. Cause there are all people who've been through this situation worse, and you can't use that as a or as a way to cut the below the belt of someone. Because at the end of the day, you make yourself look stupid, not the other person. So Evelyn in the moment, and also I'm kind of stunned at why Evelyn is so forgiven of Jen. She said her and Jen been together for a long time. She feels like that Jen understands her or what she did and hopes she um, knows the consequences of her actions. But Jen always been there for me, so I'm just gonna let this be. And I said, really, she started this whole she started this whole cycle. And she would never set this woman, it was never anything that Tammy would bring up. Yes, Tammy probably was messy with bringing this situation up at the same time, but Jen was the one who orchestrated and planned this to come out. Whether it was not going to happen now, later, it was planned and bound to come out. And Sean was bound to find out sooner or later, whatever was going to happen. Alright, so then we get this aftermath, next scene where we get Malaysia and Jackie talking and they went out to shopping and they discussed they feelings about it. Like I said, a lot of scenes about their feelings about what happened at a certain extent to that event. They talk about their feelings and then this one Malaysia brought up is that she's not feeling Jen too much because she was like Jen really wanted Malaysia to say that to Shawnee so she was like, she don't fuck with Jen right now. And she side eyeing her and she gonna look, just gonna keep her for a distance and watch her moves. Also, Malaysia brought up that she wanted Kristen and Cece to make up because they're supposed to be family and they, they be fan and I want them to make up because if they get have each other back, what's the point of me trying to stick up for them? So lately, she asked Jackie, can she Jackie could come to help mediate the situation with she's Cece and Kristen? And Jackie said, yeah, I'm going to be there. So then we had to sit down between Malaysia, Cece, Kristen, and Jackie. Kristen decided to bring Jen 
into the thing. And I was like, how are you going to bring Jen into the situation where you know part of your beef is going between what started off with of Jen and Evelyn making that joke? So, Kristen, do you really value CC relationship as much like you say you do or whatever or or you care for her? It seems like Kristen don't really care for CC like that. So, she wanted to make friends with Jen and Evelyn to be cool with them. And CC also realized that she's like, she's like, she sees that Kristen is changing. Like, this is not the Kristen that I know. Like, she would never do something like that. Kristen will always have my back. We're supposed to be family. And for her to like jump ship on that and make me feel like I'm wrong and I don't have a valid reason. At the end of the day, that meaning was totally was unsuccessful. It was uneventful because it was no agreement of making anything up. Jen was there. CC feel like Kristen don't have her back, and she feel like Kristen abandoned her. Kristen feel like Cece is not sticking up for herself and she's um she's a pushover basically that's what Kristen said and she feel like oh my beef was that you said that I want to have a job and others don't have any jobs so I was like Cece said no she was like she don't know what y'all doing at um at the point for y'all to do anything to her to say that she doing something where she don't know exactly what y'all doing for her to have any issues with her. So that was that. And then we get the situation with um, Cece and Jackie sat down and talk. And they had rehashed their little feelings over what happened with the little lunching. And that's what Cece explained to us that Kristen changed. And that she felt like she was attacked and ambushed by Kristen bringing Jen in because you know the problems was started with Jen and Evelyn and that comment that they made towards her and later on we get um, OG and Tammy I'm jumping around scenes because it wasn't too much going on so I'm just gonna try to nail out the scenes and go to the nitty gritty it's not probably gonna be a long video either OG and Tammy meet up. They're supposed to go sneaker shopping. And then Tammy told brought up OG up to speed about what happened. OG told Tammy that she's she tried to fill uh, try to fit in and try to fill the girls out and everything. And she started to realize personalities and started to realize that there are divisions between the mom and girls and side taking. And she really don't want to go into the lot of drama with the girls because she's going she's going through her own battle struggles with Kwame. I remember the last time we saw OG, she sat there with Kwame and asked him, well, what do you think about marriage? And he was going on all these million ones reasons why he don't feel like he's ready yet. This is basically tell her that he's not going to really marry her. But he didn't really say that. He just trying, he trying to get himself better. He will make a better man, a better purse boyfriend for her to marry her. I mean, y'all been together four years or something like that. If you don't know that she's married material yet or you don't think she will be your wife, ain't no sense of playing on. You just want to have fun. And that's what he did. He said that on a double date. Cause later on, Kwame, OG, um, Tammy, and Reggie had a double date. Cause Tammy invited OG to bring Kwame in to have a double date that she usually don't do. And they had a double date. They was talking. They asked about Kwame and how did they met and yada yada that small little stuff. The most thing we got for it, he said the relationship that he's having fun with OG and OG was like, oh, fun. Four years having fun. Yeah, he having fun with you. He don't really care if I marry you. He just want to have fun. And we know that OG is his first real girlfriend, so here's a lot of things he don't know about relationships, and he's still young. And Tammy asked about infidelity, and OG was like, it's not really too much, but she said, in my eyes, there's a lot of things on infidelity, and I had to check his DMs and messages and um, uh, monitor things, because he would say whatever he want to say on his DMs, and not think about he's in a relationship. And it was a lot going on, and marriage brought up, and he say he think about marriage, but he's not ready yet. He trying to be a better boyfriend, and OG say he's a marriage material. He just want to know is he ready. And Tammy said the same thing. She's like she would never thought about marriage again because she been been there and done that. But when she found somebody that she really loves and spend, want to spend her rest of her life with, she move on for it. Now. Um, Evelyn talk about 
had this workout thing with Michelle game. Her background story is not irrelevant. It's irrelevant to it, so I'm not gonna go into details with that. Evelyn and Michelle work together a lot. They know each other for a while, and this is what Evelyn told Michelle about the event she gonna have. She gonna have this freaking um, event from Evelyn um, Lozada Foundation, and it's a guest speaker event where she gonna raise money for the victims of domestic violence, and that she feels strongly about. And you no, know, she bought first bought this idea of when she had a. Um, she was make, trying to make salad for her at gym. And I would say, really? Like, it's like, really? Jim is the one who started all this crazy drama. And then you really just forget, really forgave Jen. And she said, Jen didn't have my back. They was talking, and Evelyn rehashed her situation with. We told her side of the story of what happened with her and Chad and how that affected her. And that's when she did this event, and she. Pull up this foundation for her to raise money for the victims, um, victims of director, victims of domestic violence, and um, and other stuff. So that's when she told Michelle about the event and asked Michelle can she come, and she said she will be there. She says she's not inviting Tammy because she don't care for Tammy at all. And okay, it is what it is. Now. Jackie, yeah, Jackie told, also Jackie told Cece that she wants to meet down. She told, she brought Cece up to date, and she said she, she said she wanted to see Tammy and get to the bottom of that comment, like, where she really meant what she said, and that comment was across the line because at the end of the day, I'm friends with Tammy, but I need to call her out on it and say that that's something that you should have never brought up. And... That's it. That was not much. Here's the last scene I really want to talk about before I end the video. Jackie and Tammy met up, right? Um, they talk about the Ponderosa. Tammy felt like she didn't know that Jackie was going to be there. She was not going to go there for arguing. She didn't know a lot of people going to be there. She said she thought it was going to be her, Malaysia, and Shawnee. And then everybody else was there. And so it was not supposed to be this point blow up that it happened. And um, Tammy said she was hurt by Evelyn. That Evelyn said a lot of things about her weight. And then we all know that Tammy has a diabetic. So her weight is an issue that she had to keep up. Got to maintain her, uh, her diet. Maintain her um, weight. Maintain her health to keep up. And so it will affect her. And then the reason why she walks like that because she has some different nerves based based on symptoms based on her diabetic um, diabetes, and she was hurt. And then Jackie said, "You crossed the line by saying the domestic violence thing." And Jack, um, Tammy was like, "Oh, you trying to save her?" She said, "No." And this is where we come. She said, "We." Terry said she had a conversation with Evelyn years ago about this and Evelyn said to Tammy out her mouth that it was an accident and she, that's what Tammy was like why she would play victim when she know it was a fraudulent situation that they was arguing over condoms he hit her by accident they was tussling with each other the neighbors saw them so the neighbors called the police and that's why they broke up now the neighbor would never saw the police that she, Tammy said that Evelyn and Chad would still be together, according to Evelyn's words. That's what it was told. That's what told to her by Evelyn, and that was that. And Jackie said, "Wow," and all stuff. But she said it doesn't discredit what Tammy bringing that up, and it doesn't knock off the situation that Evelyn went through with Chad. The only person who knows what happened is between Evelyn and Chad, and that's the only people who knows the truth. So nobody can say anything, nobody can get any opinions, nobody can get any thoughts about what happened because we don't know. We don't know exactly what to say and say that Evelyn was lying or not, and she's a victim. All we know that she's been part of this domestic violence situation. She got attacked, she was abused, she got this scar on her head that she will be with her forever, and that was that. That's what Tammy broke down and started crying because she said ever since the beginning, which I believe was true since, since the Miami days, that when Tammy was getting in the, in the group, 
they never accepted her. They was talking about her. They was like being mean girls. She tried to fit in with the girls. They didn't care for her. And it was a lot going on. And Tammy said she's done. She's done trying. And it is what it is. And that was the end of that. She said maybe she um, realized she should have said that domestic violence. But it is what it is. That was done. Like I said, it wasn't too much this episode. I just wanted not to make this a long one. And I'll talk to y'all later next week. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. I can't wait to see Malaysia uh, go approach Jen and try to throw that table. I can't wait for that episode. And see what's the best going on. And see what's the um, drama. Also, yeah, before that. Yeah. Shawnee and Evelyn told Kristen that Jen was the one who brought this rumor up about Evelyn and Shawnee and everything. And now Kristen was like. Oh, I want to be friends with you. and should I really be friends with her if she don't know that she start all this craziness? But it seemed like she still gonna be her friend. I was like, whatever, Kristen. And then Kristen said that she don't. Jen brought up to the meaning that Kristen said to her that she don't feel like Cece is really her friend anyway. So I was like, oh, I mean, it seems like it does. It seems like that's the case because it seems like Kristen don't really care for Cece like that anyway. And that's it. I'll talk to y'all all later next week. Peace.